Hi crafty friends, welcome back. I wanted to show you guys my latest haul. I've gotten a few stamp sets, some dies, and even a little organizer. So here we go. So this first one, it's I bought it at Harbor Freights. It was $7.99. So tax and everything came out to $8.65. So I had been looking for this little container. My husband had given one, given me one um, a few months ago and I filled that one up so I got another one. I want to have this one now full of lobster clasp for dangles. So I want to separate them by color, by theme. So what it is, it's a storage box and then inside it has 25 little boxes and here's the tag in case you want to look for it for yourself. So it comes with all of these little boxes and I love it because they close, it's secure so it's not going to spill. So here's what they are, these little boxes and then you open it and it's a good size, it fits a lot of things in them. So let me grab the other one that I have. That way you can actually see how I organize it. All right, so here's the one I currently have. And this one is full of charms. And so I have them all separated by theme. Like this little box has all my Disney charms. This one has Christmas, winter, and has Halloween so I'm telling you you can fit a lot of little items in these here's a closer look so this one I have pretty much full but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all these little ones into this second box so that was my first find and I like it because it's very good quality plastic All right, so my next few things are from AliExpress. These are all, well, some of them are the new release from KS Crafts. So the first one, I got the Mickey shaped ice cream shaker. So I'm excited to try this one. And it's actually bigger than what I thought, which I'm very happy about. Then I got, I believe this was last month's release, the flowers. And I had seen people doing really pretty things with them, so I wanted to try it out. Then the next one is the Butterfly Jumbo Paperclip Banner. I also saw people doing really cute things with this. And I have so many butterfly dies, I should really stop buying them, but I really like this one. Then the next one is the Magic Park Flags. And it's so funny because in the past when I've bought the bundles, I end up um, splitting the bundle with Cassie. And I always give her the flags because I was never interested in them. But then for my birthday challenge, one of my crafty friends sent me this one that she made and I fell in love. So here I am starting my little banner flag um, collection. So I got the Disney one. I got the Christmas set. I got, what is this one? Oh, this one's the Halloween set. And then I got the summer set. So hopefully in one of these I get the piece that's needed for the rest of them. Which I think is this one. But we'll see. Let me know. Let me know if I'm missing a set that I need. I don't really want the Easter one because I don't really craft for Easter, but if I need it for some reason, let me know. Then the next one, I had seen people also doing really cute things with this bow die, so I also got that. And this is the flat bow. This was released, I think maybe Christmas. And then I got the magical bag topper. This I'm excited about. I love making bag toppers and making it Disney even better. So we'll see how this one comes out. 
And then the last one that I was very excited about was the 3D castle. So I got the gift box and then this one's the, what do you call it? The side piece. So I'm excited to try that. I fell in love with making the Scrap Diva one. This was the one I had made. So I definitely want to combine the two and see what I can come up with. And then I had seen a video from Eliza where she had a haul from CC Designs and I really liked it. I've never bought from this company before. So when I did buy, I bought like $80 worth. So I kind of wish they had coupon codes and that way I could get some things at a very good price. So this is my haul. So the first one, which I had put all in one envelope because it's all Hocus Pocus. So the first one here is Billy. And then for this one, it's just called Billy. This one was on sale. I think I paid either six or eight dollars. I don't remember. The next one is called Binks. And so we have Binks, we have the book, the black flame candle, and some sentiments. The next one is called Sisters. And again, the three sisters, very cute. I love the size. The stamps are very good size, very easy to color, as you can see from my little castle. So I did that. And then the next one, which I actually created a color swatch. So the next one is called We Fly. And this one is actually, which I didn't even notice until I got it, is from Hocus Pocus 2. Because you have... Um, Mary here with the little Roombas, and then you have Sarah with the Swiffer. So super cute. I love these ones. And then here's the color swatch, and this is using the Ohuhu markers. I have the, I think it's the 200 set. So these were the colors that I used. And then what I'm trying to do is for prep for Halloween, so my plan is to stamp and color a bunch of images. And so I did all the Hocus Pocus ones. So you can see Binks. We got the Black Flame Candle. We got Book. I did Billy. And the Sisters. So I did both versions, so flying and regular. And we got Mary on her little Roombas. Them two. We got her on her little Swiffer. But yeah, again, very good sizes. Very easy to color. And then, so that's the Hocus Pocus set, and they all come separate, so I had to buy each one individually. Then next, I got this little guy here. This was on clearance for $2. This is called Monster Swissy. Then we got the little Ladybug Girl. This is called Ladybug Swissy. Again, this was on clearance for $2. I couldn't pass it up. Then it's the Cinderella inspired set. This is called Magical Princess. This I paid, I wanna say $6. This was also on clearance, or it could have been eight. I don't remember. Uh, this is an old Sassy Club, so that's not new. And then the last set that I got was this um, Nightmare Before Christmas set. This one's called LSB, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And then we have the Mayor. And then I already stamped these out. So they stamp very, very good. And I used my Misty to do that. 
And then last thing that I got was I was watching one of Christiane's lives and she had um, Turquoise Bay Studio or something like that. I can't think of her name. I don't know her name. But she was working with this dye. And so we were all trying to find it and we found it on Amazon for the cheapest. But it was still pretty expensive. I think it was $30. But the embellishments that she was making was really cute. So I wanted to grab that too. But yeah, that is my latest haul. Yeah, let me know what you think. But definitely CC Designs is a good company. This, they stamp really good. The images are big. And they're cute. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Bye.